In this presentation, we're going to go over some of the terminology used in the scientific method. This will help you complete your science experiment project. The first step of the scientific method is the observation phase. This will help you understand a problem that you are solving by conducting the experiment. In this stage, you are collecting information from your surroundings or from background research. The research question. This is the very specific problem or concept you are investigating. Every step of your experiment is conducted to answer the question. Variable. This is a factor, trait, or condition that can exist in differing amounts or types. Many experiments have three different types of variables. The independent variable. This is something that the experimenter changes. The dependent variable. This is the variable that responds to that change of the independent variable. The experimenter will observe the outcomes of the change and this is what they record as their data. Control variables. These are quantities or factors that remain consistent throughout the experiment. Here are some tips in using variables in your experiment. In a good experiment, there is only one independent variable. That way, only one factor creating change is observed at a time. Another tip for a good experiment is to make sure that your independent, dependent, and control variables can all easily be measured by the scientist. Hypothesis. You learned a little bit about a hypothesis from the Monty Python video. Here's a further explanation. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how things work. Most of the time, a hypothesis is written as an if-then statement. This must be worded so that it can be tested in your experiment. One way to do this is to write your hypothesis using your independent variable and your dependent variable. Experiment. Now we're getting down to testing out our hypothesis. To do this, you change the independent variable and observe those changes of the dependent variable. Record the change of the dependent variable. That is your data. In some experiments, you might be conducting a survey, so you're going to have people participating in your experiment. These are simply called participants. When you use people in your experiment, one thing to keep in mind is to ask them general questions. That way you can collect identifying information that might influence their responses to your survey. For example, you might want to ask them to volunteer their age, gender, um, geographic location, or other identifying information. Here are some more experiment tips. Keep as many things in your experiment as identical as possible so you isolate the tested variable. If you have time, repeat the experiment. That way, you can find out if your results are accurate. Collecting data. Be consistent, careful, and accurate when you take your measurements. Numerical measurements are best because you're following a certain standard. Also, when you're conducting your experiment, take pictures. They will be really helpful once it comes time to presenting to the class about your experiment. Conclusion. This is the final step and this is a written part of your experiment process. 
This is where you will summarize the results of your experiment. You'll also state if the hypothesis was supported or not supported. It is okay if the hypothesis is not supported. That's the whole point of conducting the experiment. It's to find out if your predicted solution is true in a certain case. That's your experiment. When you write your conclusion, explain why you think the hypothesis was supported or not. This uh, gives you the opportunity to reflect on what you did. Also, here is a step where you should use some research conducted by other scientists to um, support your conclusion.